All right, so in the last video, um, I made this character using the pixel art method and I made it a big file. Um, I saved both files, one big and one small, but I wanna go over that step again, just so you can see, just in case you didn't save your file big and small, um, that's okay. We can make that big file small again, uh, the same way we did it, it last time. So I want to go to image and image size. And we can see uh, it's 12 by 12 inches, 300 DPI. The resample is at nearest neighbor, which is good. Um, we don't want to change this at all. If it's at automatic, change it to nearest neighbor. So I want to change this to pixels. And then I want to change said pixels to, let's just say, I like to work in squares. squares. Um, so let's change that to like 32 by 32. That's just my go-to size. We can see here, it looks roughly the same. Let's check, maybe I made it too small. Let's reopen that. So if I don't like the way this looks, maybe it's like a, maybe I couldn't make it as small as how I made it. We have to find that middle ground to put it back into pixels so we can actually add to this, but also so we know how to make something big to small. I could just open up the file again, because I do have a small copy. That's why it's really important to have both sex, um, one big, one small, but there's definitely a way around this. So let's go back. Uh, we had, we're at pixels 72, nearest neighbor. Let's just say, let's do 50 by 50. Let's see what that looks like. That looks, actually that looks great. That looked great. I'm fine with that. Uh, this is a double check. There we go. We're in pixel art territory. So what are we doing? We need to make a GIF. We need to make an animation. And we're going to hand draw this um, digitally, in a sense. So let's move some stuff around. Let's move my camera. So we're view the layers right now as keyframes. As many layers you have, that's how many keyframes you're gonna have. So let's make a new layer. And I can redraw on this layer and redraw everything out with slight variations, but let's make our life a little bit easier. So let's undo. I can also go back to history and undo it. I'm so used to going to undo at edit. So I wanna click, click the layer underneath, and I want to change the opacity. The opacity is right here, and we have a few different options. I can, yeah, I can click, let's put 50, that's 50%, or I can use this cursor. And you want it around like 50. Make sure you click on your new layer, and you're gonna to have to redraw everything out, but, we have something to go off of. So let's see, redraw this out. I'm only gonna do like a, uh, like maybe two frames. I would like all of y'all to have four or five, not including the first layer, just so you can get a sense, just so you play around. I know for the assignment, you have to animate your five pixel art that you've done last week or so. Um, let's see here. What's the variation is going to be? Maybe we're going to have this eye closed. 
again, since I'm hand drawing this and I'm going pretty fast, um, there is going to be some natural kind of distortion happen that's going to change the way it looks. And we'll see that in a sec. All right, let's just change the eye to this. Redraw this out. Put back in the teeth. All right, that looks good. Um, let's get the color from behind it. Uh, where's our dropper tool? There we go. Let's do the face first. Actually, let's do red. And again, I'm showing you this pretty fast. I expect all of y'all to spend some more time, but I'll definitely use this in my own work as well. Let's get that gray. There we go, do that, that. Let's put some black, go back to that, put that eye back in. And let's put some darker highlights, just like in the beginning one. Um, we can change this back up to 100. That's fine. We can see behind it. Woof. That is rough looking. Ooh. We can change that up a little bit, but we're going to go. We're going to go for this. Remember, we can click the eye icon to unsee that layer. We can make this look good. But if you want your animation to look really rough, um, which is kind of in the territory I am in, you might like this. Right now, I don't know if I do, so. But there is some slight variations I do like. I think, put some more dark highlights. I might want to darken up. some areas taking out the outline that looks better for me all right I'm not going to try to mess around with this too much. But for the sake for this video, let's just go with two keyframes. So let's add some more. I have two keyframes right here. Um, but let's let's just make let's duplicate this layer. Right click, duplicate. Press OK. Put this over here. Maybe, maybe I want to change the color of this. And get rid of that white pixel right there. Boom. Yeah. 
Make sure you're clicked on the layer. Boom. All right. So I want to change. I want to change the color of this. Maybe I want to change the brightness just to have a slight variation. And maybe let's change. Go to adjust adjustments. Maybe I want to change the saturation, and then maybe maybe have some hue change in this animation. Duplicate that. Image adjustment, brightness, dark, image adjustment, hue saturation, change the saturation, change the color slightly, and then maybe I'm just making keyframes right now with slight differences. We'll see what this looks like. So we have the timeline. That's our main component for making GIFs. If you can't find the timeline, it's going to be at window. So click window. Click window. Let's turn the timeline off. Click window again. Now we have the timeline. Our timeline is right here. So I want to create a video timeline. What do I mean by that? We just click where it says create video timeline. There we go. So we have all of our keyframes here. And if I play it, nothing happens. Why is that? The reason for it is everything is on a timeline. Each layer is down in a little stack up here. And if you can see here, they're all playing at the same time. It's like if you like press all the keys of a um, of a keyboard, you're gonna have multiple sounds playing at once. We don't want that. So let's make this smaller because that's how long they're going to play. And then we change these around. And then we can click play. All right, there's some slight, some slight movement. We can see some color change. That is fine for me. I like this. We can spend more time on it, time on it, but um, we just need to animate five pixel art characters. So I can accept this. I can tell that you're making slight variations. Um, you're using the keyframes. You know how to make a layer. Um, you know how to draw on top of it. You know how to change the the uh, the time frame. You know how to open up the timeline. You know how to make things smaller, and you know how to check what it looks like. Good, everything's set. You can stay on a keyframe if you make it longer, but I like mine to be short and simple. We're good. We're there. So what's the next step? The most important step is to make it a GIF. So usually when we save, we go to save or save as. That's not, not how we do it for a GIF. For a GIF, we export. We export and then we go save for web legacy. Awesome. We're right there. We should see something like this. And then we click save. Save it onto your hard drive or computer. And let's just say it's mask, the date. It's a big file, but I made it small. Let's name it small video. And Click save. We should be good. Let's reopen up that file and see if it plays. Um, if you're on a Mac, it won't play. Uh, it, it is animated, yes, 
it is uh, in the correct format. Let's hope. Um, but usually on PC, I can just go to where my videos are at. Let's go to video and let's go down here. Where does it say that? Should be here. There we go. So something went wrong. Uh, I made a big mistake. I forgot to take out the background from a section. And maybe let's make it a little bit bigger just so I can actually see, let's see a little bit more so we can change the size. So let's go back. Some of y'all might run into this problem. If you're Russian, we can't rush this process. So let's see here, we have all of our layers. Let's just change the size. When we change the size when everything is in a layer, we'll ch change the size for all of them. So same thing like we did before. Let's change it to 300, nearest neighbor, hard edge, pixels to inches. Let's just do 12 by 12. We can do since the GIF, change the resolution to 72. That is great. Um, usually if we're working in videos in Photoshop, we don't want the file size too big. Uh, and if we're gonna put this on the web, um, 72 is, is, a, is a good resolution for a GIF. This is the rare uh, case that I'm not making all of y'all do 300. Let's do 72. Does it still look good? Yes. Does it still play? We have to make sure that the eyes are on so we can actually see. There we go. So let's save that again. We go to File, we go to Export, Save as Web Legacy. The size is bigger. Awesome. Let's click Save. Let's put Big Video. And it is right there. Let's double check. I forgot to take out one more thing because I'm Russian. That is okay. Let's leave these mistakes in there. So we have to make sure that we take out where there's a background. We have one that needs the background out. There we go. Let's go through our keyframes. That one, take it out. Any more? All right. Third time is a charm. Export. Save, looks good, no background, save. Big two, since we messed up. I like to save my work, just in case, you can always delete it later. Let's 
There we go. We got our GIF. Um, so we troubleshoot, uh, we trouble, uh, troubleshot a few problems. We made keyframes. We drew on each one. Um, I see some stuff that maybe I could change, especially these two pixels, but maybe I'm being a little picky right now. This is completely fine. Um, if you get this result, you're in a good ballpark. Let's take out the background on all these, just so you can show me that you know how to take out the background, you know how to make a GIF, you know to have with a GIF, GIF, it's gonna have a transparent background, just like if you delete it from, um, from each layer. So if you have something like this to this size, you're good. If not, let's reevaluate and change each one. Maybe you need to make things a little bit bigger. All right, see you at the next one.